So now we're going to define the derivative. So what's the definition? The derivative of f at x is f prime of x, the limit as delta x goes to 0, f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x, provided the limit exists. And so this derivative, it's actually a function. And so for all x for which this limit exists, f prime of x is a function of x. So I do want to mention what derivatives are useful for, and we're going to see it a little bit later in an application, but derivatives can be used to determine the instantaneous rate of change. of one variable with respect to another variable. So again, we'll get into that a little bit later, but now, for now, let's find a derivative of a function. So let's look at the following problem. I want you to find the derivative of the function x cubed plus 2x using the definition of the derivative. So f prime of x we're going to just start by writing down our definition. The limit as delta x goes to 0. f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. The limit as delta x goes to 0. Now we're going to use our specific function. Everywhere there's an x in your formula, replace it by x plus delta x. So this would be x plus delta x cubed plus 2x plus delta x minus x cubed plus 2x all over delta x. So now what you're going to need to do is multiply this out. There's three of them, so it's going to take you a little bit of computation here. If you multiply all that stuff out, you should be getting x cubed plus 3x squared delta x plus 3x delta x squared plus delta x cubed. Now distribute out that 2 that you got here, so it'll be a 2x plus 2 delta x, and distribute out this minus, so it'll be minus x cubed minus 2x, and then we're going to start canceling terms in the numerator. I have an x cubed and a minus x cubed a minus 2x and a positive 2x, and that's everything that cancels. So if you look, everything in the numerator has a delta x in it, so I'm going to pull out a delta x. What am I going to be left with? 3x squared, 3x delta x, 
plus delta x squared plus 2 divided by delta x. Now the delta x's will cancel and you're looking at the limit as delta x goes to 0 of what's left. And now you're going to be able to plug in 0 for delta x and what am I going to be left with? 3x squared this term would be 0, this term would be 0, plus 2. And there is my derivative.